Good morning, students. I'm Monica Mehra from Vishwabharti Public School, Noida. I hope you all are safe and healthy with your families. You must have seen my previous video on decimals from chapter number two, fractions and decimals. This video is a PowerPoint presentation on the topic fractions from the same chapter, fractions and decimals. You have already learned about fractions in your previous class. So today we are going to learn about new topics multiplication of fractions and division of fractions. But before moving on to these topics, I want to revise and recall in brief some of the previous concepts that you've learned in sixth grade. In this PowerPoint, I have also included solved examples for you all, some scenarios to understand the concept better. I've also included some hot questions. I've also included pictorial representation of fractions and assignment for you all. What do you mean by fractions? Let's understand this using this fraction strip. Suppose I want to divide this fraction strip into three equal parts by folding it. Any part of this whole is known as a fraction. Suppose I'm considering two parts out of these three parts. I've shaded two part of this fraction strip. Then these two parts, the parts I'm considering is the top number which refers to as the numerator. And the total number of parts, which is 3 here, is the denominator, refers to as the denominator, is the bottom number of this fraction. So the fraction of the shaded parts here is 2 upon 3. 2 is the number of parts I'm considering and this 3 is the total number of parts. You have already learned about mixed fractions. A mixed fraction is a combination of a whole number and a proper fraction. Look at this example on the slide, 2, 3 upon 5 where 2 is a whole number and 3 upon 5 is a proper fraction. So this is an example of a mixed fraction. You've already learned about how to convert mixed fraction to improper fraction. Look at this example, 2, 3 by 4 on the screen, where 2 is a whole number and 3 fourths is a proper fraction. Now if you want to convert mixed fraction to an improper fraction, you'd have to find the new numerator and the denominator remains the same. So how to find the new numerator? Multiply the whole number with the denominator and add numerator to it. So 2 into 4, that is 8, plus 3 equals 11 is the new numerator. And denominator is 4, which remains the same. So this is how you have converted mixed fraction to improper fraction. You all know that students, mixed fraction is derived from improper fractions. And you know that how to convert improper fractions to mixed fractions. Let's look at this example 15 upon 7. It is an example of an improper fraction. And I want to convert it to mixed fraction. So first you need to divide numerator by denominator. Here numerator is 15 and denominator is 7. So divide 15 upon 7. Divide 15 by 7. So we are getting 2 as the quotient, 1 as the remainder and 7 as the divisor. So in a mixed fraction, how we'll write quotient remainder upon divisor. So remainder upon divisor is 1 upon 7, that is a proper fraction, and 2, which is a quotient, is a whole number. So this is how we have converted 15 by 7 to mixed fraction. Another important topic which I want you to recall is reducing the fractions to lowest term. And the rule is simple, that you need to divide the numerator and denominator by their HCF and how to find HCF that you have also learned in your previous class. It is by the common division method or by listing the common factors. Let's look at this example 15 by 35 is a fraction which I want to reduce it to lowest term. I have done this by listing the common factors. I have written here factors of 15. Those are 1, 3, 5 and 15. The factors of 35 are 1, 5, 7, 35. Then the common factors of 15 and 35 are 1 and 5. So what is HCF? It is the highest common factor. So amongst 1 and 5, the highest common factor is 5. So we have to divide 15 and 35 by this HCF, that is 5. So we are getting after dividing both numerator and denominator by 5, we are getting 3 upon 7. 3 upon 7 is the reduced term of 
fraction 15 by 35. Four basic operations you need to learn in fractions, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So we'll, before moving on to new topics, multiplication of fractions and division of fractions, I am going to recall addition and subtraction of fractions which you have already learned in your previous class. Addition of fractions. You know that students when the fractions are like, the simple rule is add the numerators and the denominators remains the same. Let us look at this example 1 by 7 plus 3 by 7. Both these fractions are like fractions. Why? Because the denominators are same that is 7. So the rule is add the numerators and the denominator remains the same. So 1 plus 3 equals 4 and 7 remains 7. So I have added these like fractions to 4 by 7 which is a proper fraction. When the fractions are unlike then you need to change those unlike fractions to like fractions. And how you do that? The simple rule is find the LCM of the denominators and then find the equivalent fractions of those unlike fractions with the denominator same as LCM. Let's understand it better with this example. Quickly recall this. 1 by 8 plus 2 by 3. This is how you need to add those unlike fractions. Why these are unlike fractions? Because the denominators are different. So the first step is you need to find the LCM of these denominators. LCM of 8 and 3 is 24. Next step is you need to find the equivalent fraction of 1 by 8 and equivalent fraction of 2 by 3 with the denominator same as 24. So how you do that? Let's look at this fraction 1 by 8 and you know you need to change its denominator to 80, 24. I'm sorry. So 8 you have to multiply by 3. 8 times what? Equals to 24. So you need to multiply by 3 because 8 times 3 is 24. Similarly, you have to multiply the numerator also by 3. So 1 by 8 is reduced, is changed to 3 by 24. That is its equivalent fraction. Similarly, let's consider another fraction, 2 by 3. You need to find the equivalent fraction of 2 by 3 with the denominator same as LCM. So 3 times what is 24? 3 times 8 is 24. So you need to multiply the numerator and denominator of 2 by 3 by 8. You will get 16 upon 24. So 3 upon 24 and 16 upon 24 both are equivalent fractions of 1 by 8 and 2 by 3. And both these are like fractions. So you can add up now. Because you need to add the numerators and denominator remains the same. So 16 plus 3 is 19 and the denominator is 24 only. This is how we have added unlike fractions. If the fractions students are mixed fractions and you are adding those mixed fractions, then you need to change the mixed fractions to improper fractions. And then those improper fractions, if they are unlike fractions, then change them to like fractions, which you have just seen in the previous slide. So students, we have revised addition of fractions and subtraction of fractions. Now let's come up to a new topic of multiplication of fractions. For that, let's look at this problem on the screen that is 3 times 2 thirds. It is multiplication of a whole number by a fractional number. How you do that? So before coming up to the rule, I want to explain you, I want to show you a visual representation of this multiplication problem using fraction models. Just pay attention. So our multiplication problem here is 3 times 2 thirds. It means that we are multiplying 2 thirds 3 times. 2 third plus 2 third plus 2 third is our problem. So first of all, I want to show you what is 2 thirds. See, this is the fraction strip. I am sure I've shown here 2 thirds. Fraction 2 third on a fraction strip. I'm going to now put 2 third. Three times we need to put plus two third plus two third three times two third two third plus two third plus two third. Now we have total six parts. 
and we have to arrange these six parts into the same size fraction strips model see now i have already cut these six parts so i'm going to arrange these six parts on a fraction strip like this one part goes here same size fraction strip second part third part so one whole then again the another three parts one part second part and third part so we have no leftover remainder is no remainder so these six parts i have arranged in three here then another three here so the answer is one whole and this is another whole no left out part so it's two whole is our answer so three multiplied by two third the answer is two whole this is the visual representation of the multiplication of a whole number by a fraction number i hope you have understood this and you also try it yourself students students you have seen the visual representation of a multiplication of a fraction by a whole number but every time we cannot use fraction models to solve a problem it's a tedious job to understand it better let's understand a simple rule to multiply a fraction by a whole number first step is make the whole number a fraction by putting it over 1 then multiply the numerator by numerator and multiply the denominator by denominator reduce the answer also in the simplest form always let's understand this better using this example i am shown showing it on the slide 3 by 4 means 3 fourth of 12 3 4 12 12 fraction is multiplied here by a whole number where 3 4 is a fraction number and 12 is a whole number the first step is to convert whole number into a fraction by writing it over 1 so 12 will be changed into 12 upon 1 a fraction number both are fraction when you are multiplying these fractions multiply the numerator by numerator 3 is multiplied by 12 and the product is 36 similarly multiply the denominator by denominator 4 multiplied by 1 is 4 so we we are getting the fraction 36 over 4 but this 36 upon 4 is not in lowest term we need to convert it into lowest term that we do by dividing both numerator and denominator by the hcf hcf of 36 and 4 is 4 so divide 36 by 4 equals 9 and 4 divided by 4 is 1 so we are getting the answer as 9 students why do we need to multiply fraction numbers let's understand this through a simple scenario let's see that birthday cake on a screen suppose it's your birthday party and you have invited five of your friends and each friend want 1/8 of this cake so total what fraction of the cake was eaten by your five friends together so that is 1/8 plus 1/8 plus 1/8 like five times or you can say that 1/8 times 5 because repeated addition is multiplication so 1/8 into 5 and we have already seen that how you multiply a fraction number by a whole number you have to write 5 as a fraction number that is 5 over 1 and then multiply the numerator by numerator multiply the denominator by denominator so 1 is multiplied by 5 that is 5 and 8 is multiplied by 1 that is 8 so the total 5/8 part of the cake was eaten all together by five friends now if i put you another question how much cake was left out for the other family members so that is one whole minus 5/8 so one whole you can also write it in a fraction as 1 upon 1 minus of 5 upon 8 so you know that how to subtract fractions and you will get it the answer as 3/8 so 3/8 of the cake will be left for the entire rest of the family and 5/8 of the cake was eaten by his five friends 
so this is how we are using fractions in our real life so students you can also visually represent multiplication of fractions let's see this problem 5 by 8 plus 5 by 8 repeated addition is a multiplication so you can write it as 5 8 times 2 but how you represent 5 8 5 parts out of 8 are shaded so i have shown it with two circles 5 8 each next is 10 upon 8 is a improper fraction so 10 upon 8 has to be converted into mixed fraction that is 1 to 8 1 is a complete whole and you are showing it on the right hand side see 1 which is a whole number it's showing by the complete shaded circle because one whole we are considering and the second circle is showing 2 8 that is a proper fraction means two parts out of eight equal parts are shaded it's a part of a whole so it's a fraction so 1 to 8 is how you are representing pictorically that is also one of the question in your exercise so that's why i have made one slide on that question i hope you have understood look at this example students to multiply the fraction numbers look at this first example 2 fifth is a fraction 6 seventh is a fraction and you need to multiply 2 fifth and 6 seventh so the simple rule is which we have already discussed multiply the numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator then reduce it to lowest term so see first example is 2 is multiplied by 6 and it equals 12 and the denominators 5 and 7 when they are multiplied the answer is 35 you cannot reduce it further because there are no common factors other than 1 similarly you can solve the another example 1 fourth is multiplied by 2 third 1 is multiplied by 2 which are numerators you are getting 2 4 multiplied by 3 is 12 2 upon 12 you are getting as a product but in 2 and 12 the highest common factor is 2 there is a common factor so we'll multiply both numerator and denominator by 2 and we are getting the reduced form as 1 by 6 which is the product so students this slide is showing multiplication of mixed fractions the rule is simple it's same in all these type of questions but whenever you are getting mixed fractions then you need to convert mixed fractions to an improper fraction which you have already learned in previous classes and today also i have recalled with you all so let's look at this example there are two mixed fractions one one third and two and half so both these mixed fractions you need to convert into improper fractions one one by three is converted into four by three and two and half is converted into five by two now again both these fractions you need to multiply which we have already seen in the previous slide multiply numerator by numerator multiply denominator by denominator 4 times 5 equals 20 3 times 2 equals 6 so the answer the product is 20 upon 6 but can you see students there are common factors between 20 and 6 right so we need to find their HCF highest common factor that will be 2 so we'll divide both numerator and denominator by 2 that will be the answer will be 20 divided by 2 is 10 6 divided by 2 is 3 so 10 by 3 is our product but again students it's an improper fraction after reducing also so you need to change it into mixed fraction always Whenever you are doing mixed problem question, when you are getting an improper fraction as the answer, you need to convert it into mixed fraction. So students, till now you have learned multiplication of fractions. And it's very easy, right? Multiply the top numbers, multiply the bottom numbers and you are getting the product. So now, coming up to next topic is division of fractions. It's very simple. So let's go through it you are dividing fractions change the division sign to multiplication sign and whenever at wherever at any step you are changing the division sign to multiplication sign you need to find the reciprocal of the fraction after the division sign what is reciprocal 
reciprocal means flip over. Like reciprocal of 2 7th is 7 upon 2. Means numerator will go down at the denominator and denominator will become the numerator. That is the reciprocal which you have already learnt in your previous class. So let's understand this through this example. 3 4th is divided by 2 7th. Here at the next step you see 3 4th you will write as it is 3 4th. Now division sign is changed into multiplication sign. And as soon as at any step you are changing division sign to multiplication, you need to flip over the next fraction after the division sign that is 7 upon 2. So 3 4th is multiplied by 7 upon 2. Now this division problem has become now the multiplication problem. You have converted the division problem into a multiplication problem and you know that how to multiply the fractions. In your previous topic was that only. So multiplication of fraction means multiply numerator by numerator, multiply denominator by denominator. 3 times 7 is 21, 4 times 2 is 8. So our answer is 21 upon 8. But students, it's still an improper fraction. So you need to convert it into improper fra uh, mixed fraction also. So students, where do we use division of fractions in our real life situation? So let's see this real life situation. Look at this bar chocolate on the screen. And you are allowed to eat half of that chocolate. You have now half of the chocolate. But six of your friends came in and you want to divide. You want to share half of your chocolate amongst your six friends. Now the question is, what fraction of the chocolate did each of your friends get? That is half divided by six. This is the, this is the situation where we are using division of fractions. Half divided by six means what? We have already solved. We have already learned that whenever a fraction is divided by a whole number, you need to change the whole number into a fraction and then the division sign is changed into the multiplication sign and you need to multiply the fractions then. Let's look at this example half divided by 6. Now division sign is changed into multiplication sign and you need to find the reciprocal of 6 upon 1 that is 1 upon 6. Now this is the multiplication of fractions, half into one sixth. Multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators and you will get one twelfth. It means that one twelfth of the chocolate each of your friend will get. Look at this example students. I have put lot of examples for you all so that you can practice as maths requires lot of practice. So do solve all these questions yourself and do practice all these type of questions because it's a new topic. That's why I put lots of examples for you all. Look at this another example when you are dividing two fractions. Again, the rule is same. Two third is divided by four fifth. Here, the division sign will be changed into multiplication sign and then after that you need to find the reciprocal of four fifth. That is 5 upon 4. Now you have changed the division problem into a multiplication problem. 2 third divided by 4 fifth is 2 third into 5 by 4. And you know that how to multiply the fractions. Multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators and you are getting the answer. But don't forget to reduce it to lowest term. Try it yourself. Dividing mixed fractions. Again, it's all same, rule is same, but the thing is that mixed fractions, you have to always convert it into improper fractions. Remember that students, whether it's a multiplication problem or a division problem or an addition or a subtraction, you need to always convert mixed fraction into an improper fraction whenever you're using these operations to solve the questions. So again, the let's look at this example, three and a half divided by two fifths. Here, 3 and half is a mixed fraction. So you need to convert it into improper fraction. 3 and half is converted into 7 upon 2 divided by 2 fifth. Again, this is the division of fractions. 
which we have learned in the previous slide. So 7 by 2 division sign is converted into now multiplication sign and then you have to find the reciprocal of 2 fifth that is 5 upon 2. So this is multiplication of fractions. 7 by 2 into 5 by 2 is the multiplication of fractions now. You have converted the division problem into multiplication problem. And now in multiplication, multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. 7 times 5 is 35. 2 times 2 is 4. So your product is 35 by 4. But students, it's a improper fraction. So you need to convert it into mixed fraction. That is 8, 3, 4. I hope you have understood. And do practice lots of questions, students, so that you'll get clear with all these concepts. So students, these are some hot questions which are put for you. Where you are using the two or more operations. And you can solve it using both mass. So look at this question. 4 fifth divided by 7 fifteenth times 8 ninth. So here, using Bodmas, first you have to divide, then only you will multiply. For division, 4 fifth divided by 7 15, it means that division will be changed into multiplication and the reciprocal of 7 by 15 is 15 upon 7. And then the rest is same. 4 by 5 into 15 upon 7 into 8 upon 9. And then these are multiplication of fractions. Multiply all the numerators multiply all the denominators and you will get the product as 32 upon 21. But 32 upon 21 is an improper fraction and you need to convert it into mixed fraction that is 1 11 upon 21. So students look at the slide, copy down the question and revise it yourself, practice it yourself, solve it yourself and check the answer which I have shown on the slide. So students I have put this another type of example which you can solve using both mass because there are three operations of multiplication and division. But do not forget that of is nothing but a multiply. Of operation is a multiplication operation. So change the of into a multiplication and in both mass always you need to first solve the of operation then division then multiply if you have these operations. So here also in this example, first we'll solve the OFF operation. Half of 3 fourth means 3 eighth. Rest is same. Then in the next step, change the division sign to multiplication sign. And whenever you're changing it, find the reciprocal of the fraction after the division sign. Solve it yourself, students. This is nothing but a repetition of what we have done in the earlier slides. Solve it and check that whether you are getting the same answer which I have solved on the slide. So students, I have covered all the topic of that fraction part of the chapter number two fractions and decimals and these are the assignment questions for you and it is covering all the topics of the book exercise. So now do solve it, work hard and any doubt you can ask me. So students, Practice all these questions. Practice lots of questions. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you for your cooperation and positive feedback.